Yeah, no, I, in case you haven't really noticed that I release a lot of movies at the same... Uh, a lot of reviews at the same time. <clears throat> it's because um, I don't really have a lot of free time. I can only do this during my free time, and I gotta use my time wisely. So, here I am. I'm here to review the next Best Picture winner. Now, just like the movie The Sting, this movie had a lot of competition that year. In other words, a really big one, otherwise known as Jaws. Jaws is basically the movie that made box office, box office numbers what they are today, summer movies a thing as well and all such but it, but it lost the oscar to best picture to this movie and <laughs> is it better than jaws in my opinion yeah it totally is because why do i say that because it's jack nicholson playing a crazy guy that's a must see right there we see it all the time and we love it this movie is called one flew over the cuckoo's nest so one flew over the cuckoo's nest stars jack nicholson and Whatever that act actress's name that plays Nurse Ratchet, I can't think of it right now, but she was good as well. Well, anyway, he is a criminal that is pretending to be insane so he can spend the rest of his jail time in a lunatic asylum so he doesn't have to deal with jail life. Well, as we know from the Shawshank Redemption, prison is not exactly a fairy tale world. So he's pretending to be crazy to, you know, serve his sentence and all that, and he gets to know the people that are there and all and everything. And when we get there, I, I, I was looking around thinking, how many actors do I know in this place? I mean, that's that guy right there, that 16-year-old, is Grima Wormtongue from Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. That's Danny DeVito, the short guy right there. And that guy, I can still tell him who he is, even without the crazy hair. That's Christopher Lloyd, Dr. Emmett Brown. I knew he would end there. We all knew he would end there eventually. I'm just saying, we all knew he would end there eventually. So anyway, he gets there and he doesn't really like the activities that they do, such as like the exercise stuff, talk about their feelings because he thinks it's a complete waste of time. But Nurse Ratchet, in her nice angel little voice, says, it's very important that we all do things evenly, okay? And Jack Nicholson's like, I just want to go to the bar right now, drink some beers and watch the baseball game. That's what I want to do right now. And everything. So he and Nurse Ratchet kind of have those little moments of fighting and everything. They never get along in this movie. Never. And that's, I like that a whole lot better than, you know, starting building relationship stuff and all such. I like this a whole lot better. But because, though, because you can definitely tell exactly who is really the good guy and who is really the bad guy. I mean, Jack Nicholson saying he wants to get in trouble, he wants to... He wants to drink beers with his friends. He wants to get out there and have fun and everything. He seems like, a, according to them, a very dangerous person. And all such. Especially since he likes to escape. He likes to take them, take some inmates out fishing with him. That happened in one scene, which was really cool. And all such. And Nurse Ratchet, who, in her little angel voice, says, No, they all need to be here. They need to, they they need to follow rules and everything. We are... If anyone has ever been into, like, one of those protection facilities and all such, I work for a company called One Vision that deals with people with disabilities and all such. So I'm kind of used to it and all, and all. And everything that is happening in this movie is straight up illegal now. Just so anyone who is dealing with disabilities doesn't get scared of going to these places. It's illegal now. And Jack Nicholson's performance in this movie is... Probably one of the reasons why. It probably not, but come on, his performance is that good. Because in one scene in particular, he finds out that half the inmates, they're not even inmates. They're volunteers. They're they can go home whenever they feel like it. And Jack Nicholson's sitting there going, Then what are you doing here? You should be going out there having fun. I mean, all I ever hear from you guys is how much you hate this place. What are you, crazy? Because you're not. You're normal people. You're just the same as any other person walking around on the street. And the funny thing is, <clears throat> even for me, for working at the company that I work at, it's true. It's true. They, they're they no different than anybody else. And, so, and some of them could probably do things a whole lot better than, well, normal people can. And all such. If there even is a word called normal. And all such. 
So that's kind of, that's a really, really powerful thing to say, especially when people are suffering through disabilities through schools and all such. They're not old enough to watch this movie, but they're called stupid, they're called crazy, they should be locked up, and all that such. And this movie tells them, you're not crazy, you're normal, this is just who people are. And that's a very strong thing to strong thing to focus on but for some reason they're all scared to leave this place and probably the reason why is nurse ratchet herself if you ever hear like an an older an older person at the hospital and they say and i got a nurse ratchet helping me out she's a terrible person and all such he is referring to this movie because nurse ratchet has the angel voice she speaks nicely but she is not a good person at all because she's trying to control them. She's telling her goons to come out there to beat them up and all such. She is not a nice person. And and to hide behind like a good person perspective, especially someone who says this is the law and I am allowed to do these things or that or let alone get away with these things in this place. It's it's shocking to say the least and all such. And she pulls off a very good performance. If, if, she, if she was watching this video, she's still alive. I apologize that I don't know your name. I'm going to say you did a great job, great performance. And I'm probably going to watch that movie right after this because I really did enjoy it. Jack Nicholson, forget it. When he's playing a crazy guy, he's at home. That's just who he is. I mean, he's not like um, his character from Gi Chinatown. And he's not like his character from The Shining. It's more like the in-between shall we say he's still technically a normal guy he's just pretending to be crazy and what can I say he pulls it off very well so I really like this movie and I'm gonna say it I like this movie maybe I shouldn't say it online because sometimes opinions like this can really get under people's goats oh heck I'm just gonna say it I like this movie more than Jaws there, I said it. There I said it. I'm not going to take it back now. This movie is definitely fantastic. Jack Nicholson definitely deserved the Oscar for Best Actor. The actress who played Miss Nurse Ratchet definitely deserved the Oscar for Best Actress. It definitely deserved the Oscar for Best Picture. And this movie definitely is legendary. So guys, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.